<laughs> hey everybody, how's it going? It is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And yes, are you kidding me? I was waiting for the guys to leave, and now they're like playing around with the front doorbell. Oh well. <laughs> Moving forward. Uh, yeah, so hi everybody. I am here today with a an eBay haul. This is a an international haul from the UK, and I have not opened it yet. So it's still sealed, and I do not remember. I don't remember what's in it. I remember I, I did, you know, look through the different lots that were up there, and I tried to find one that looked pretty good, and I ordered it. I think I paid forty dollars for it. Yeah, forty pounds. Paid forty pounds for it, and finally got it. So it'll be a mystery for both of us. And what I've been doing is I had an eBay lot from France. And I wanted to do sort of a, I keep some, I do a giveaway. And so I have a little baggie with stuff from that haul. And what I'll do is put stuff from this haul into it. And then later we'll do a giveaway for it because fun for everybody, right? <sighs> I feel like I need a second because I was like waiting for the guys to go because they were going to go to the, the pool to kind of get out for a minute. You know what I mean, moms? Hello. Um, so I was like, come on. Okay, when are you going? No, you can't take your sword. All right. So yeah, that's how we are. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. I am live. So if you're ever wanting to catch me live, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can come and say hey to the tribe. Hello, everybody. Wow. All right. So let's dig into this thing. So I've got this bag and we're going to do, I'm going to cut into it. I have scissors to open it and just wait. I have other things too. Are you guys doing okay? Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, so let's pull it out. How are we? Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, uh. So we have got a bubble wrap something. I can go over there. And then I'm undoing. Can I undo this? Taped. So the bubble wrapping stuff is taped. I honest to goodness don't remember what's in this. And I didn't want to look either. I was like, let's all be surprised. Because it's, it's been a while since I ordered it. You know how it is with overseas stuff. It takes a little bit. So it's here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Hi, everybody. And I, yeah, I'm so glad you guys can make it this evening. Because I know I've been so sporadic with videos. And then they're not related to anything some people want to see. I'm like doing my best. I'm just doing my best, okay? That's all. Ooh, okay, funsies. So here we have this bag with lots of fun boxes and things. So let's, I mean, come on. Look at it, look at it. Here, let me get it up close. It smells funky. It smells like, it smells like old, musty, a little musty. It smells a little musty. I'm trying to think of what, like, how does this smell? Kind of musty. All right. That's okay. Musty can be good. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, oh, did you really, Jan? Oh, yay. She just sold, Jan says she sold an accordion mug wrap for 70 bucks. Was it one of the big ones? Like the ginormous, I have, I have well, my sister took one. But I have another one of, like, the ones that have, like, um, a whole bunch on there. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad you guys could make it. I, I, things are getting back to normal. I was just talking to Mary and Cindy and them in the Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers on the ad, we have our admin thing. And I was like, okay, okay, we're getting there, right? I got the school room set up. We've started school. Like I, there were things, okay, I, I want to say that this, you know, YouTube is my priority, but it's not 100%. It's not, no, just not. Okay, um, because, as much as I love you guys, I love my children. <laughs> so I had to just say, you know what? I've got to set my house up. I've got to get my family set. I've got to get my kids set. Make sure everything's okay with, with the family. Don't take that wrong because, you know, I love you too. Um, but I had to make every, every make sure everything was – now, the house is not totally unpacked. My workroom – I'm sitting in the schoolroom now because my workroom is still like ah. – um, but we're getting there. So we're getting there. Anyway, so I'm, I'm just slowly – I was telling Mary and them, like, okay, it's – getting there maybe within the next month I'll be selling again so yeah okay first baggie oh and look 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 not to make you jealous or anything but I have my loop and 
a magnet. See? They kissed and made up. <laughs> they kissed and made up. Okay, let's see. Uh, hi, hi. Oh, everybody's saying hi. Yes, yes, Dana, totally. Which size was it? Oh, 66 pegs. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Those are money. Okay, so let's take a peek. No way. Did they really? <gasps> this must have been extra because I know this wasn't in there. Watch. This must be an extra because look, this is so funny. Watch, ready, set. You see what it says? It's a pin that says Margaret. That was so not in the lot. I would have remembered that. It was not something I saw in the lot anyway. Margaret, look, it's just for me. Okay, five stars already. Good job, whoever you are. I'm gonna go find your your store and share it with everybody, right? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> no way. Maybe Margaret's a more common name in, in England. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> they must that must be an extra. It must be. I didn't even get my, my loop or my magnet or anything. Yeah, it's got a little pull, but it doesn't matter. It's me. All me. I love it. Ooh, so much. I just threw it over there. It bounced. Hang on. It bounced. Now I want to tell everybody to shop because it's so good. Okay, it's not on here. I'll have to go get it and see. <laughs> okay, so next up, this, I think this little baggie was extra stuff because I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember a lot of it. But anyway. Okay, so here is a little, looks like a little necklace. Sorry, pancake's going to go. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. They should be, wait, wait, I missed something in the, in the, oh, thank you, everybody in the chat. Hi, hi, I wish I, I was, yeah, hello, thank you for coming. The kids and the family are most important, yes, totally. And, you know, I was saying, Dana, the other day, we're going to, okay, this haul is going to be like a catch-up chat, too, so we'll just kind of catch up and do the haul at the same time. I was just saying the other day, like, the first meal I cooked we had gotten our play structure set up outside. The kids were outside playing. I made, was making dinner and I was like, ah, finally I feel like I'm home. So it's been nice just being able to like cook meals for my family. I know, I mean, maybe it sounds silly, but it's been a while, it's been a while. Thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go. So this has got a little like, looks like a little rose on a pendant. I mean, on a chain, sorry. I'm just excited. Okay, it is magnetic, but that's okay. It's still really super cute. I'm just excited to see you guys. Honestly, I feel like I feel like it's like girls night out, even though there's not just girls here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Um, yeah. Oh, pancake. All right, so next up, maybe they knew my birthday was in May as well, because it's like a little faux emerald there, little glass. That's really cute though. And hang on, where's my I mean they're not gonna send me real gold like on purpose, right? But anyway, there's that. It's not pulling to the magnet. It is not adhering to the magnet. Now, does that mean I think it's really gold? Because I think they probably know better. But you never know. And I'm looking on the inside. I see some little stamps in there. I'm trying to read it, sorry. Now, if you are from the UK, you know that you don't you don't get the same stamps generally, like 14K like we have here. They have like Hallmark stamps. And Tom, Tom was supposed to come talk to me about that. Tom, oh yeah, Dana. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rose. So you see the little, you can see the little marks in there. Um, I Like I said, just because something is not magnetic doesn't mean that it's gold, but if it's not, that's like my next step to test it. Okay, so my earrings, Rose, these are those earrings that I got at the estate sale for 50 cents that turned out to be um, 18 karat gold. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> I'm going to keep them. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, let's see. That's your birthstone too? Yeah, mine too, Tam. Mine is, mine is emerald. May, may. Um, all we need is a jewelry uh, mail stripper. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I paid 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Could be. I would think they would know, but then again, you you never know. 
Some people are like, I got this. I bought out this estate and I don't know anything about jewelry and we just put it up and like get rid of it. You know what I mean? So you never know. That's the thing. Okay, so next up we have another medallion, which I love. I I have a number of them and I have a bunch of rosaries too. But look how pretty this one is. It looks like it's got some blue enamel around Mary. I can't tell if that's like an, yeah, it's probably an enamel in there. And there's the back. Looks like probably when the angel came to Mary and told her, P.S. No, no, maybe not. P.S. You're going to get pregnant. And it's God's baby. So, anyway. <laughs> That's a conversation. Um, okay, so next, there's a little bead. Okay. Like so. And we have got, oh, this guy's cool. Where's he from? Okay, let me show you. So this looks like, I would think, silver, because just because of the way it's tarnished. But I'm trying to read what it says on the bottom. I'm going to show you. Okay, now I'm going to try to read it. K-H-A-S-H-A-N-I, which spells Kashani? Kashani? <laughs> uh, I remind... You remind me of a, I think you didn't finish typing. <laughs> okay. I should totally do an audiobook of the Bible. Mimi says Margaret's version of the Bible. So this dude gets swallowed by a whale and he's like, oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> okay. So I don't, I'm going to have to do a little research on this guy. Oh wait, there's more on the back and it does say silver. Right there. He looks, oh, if I, if I didn't know that he was from the UK, I would um, say that he looked like um, Inuit or something like that. But I don't think so because it's in the UK. I'm going to have to look at, <laughs> I'm going to have to look it up. Sorry, I'm like delirious from like getting to hang out with grown up people. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. Okay, so next up we've got a little maple leaf pin, which is cute, or oak leaf, or maybe maple leaf, I think, though. And it is marked. I'm going to get the loop. <laughs> Thank you. It says stir, well, for sterling, and then there's like a little symbol. So I'm going to have to get it, get, get on to Tom to help me <laughs> buy what Margaret's talking No, oh, yeah. Don't get a no, never mind. It's like, don't get me started. Okay. It's almost like just wind her up and watch her go, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, next up, we've got a little locket. It's got some dents and dings in it, but it's so cute. Let's see. Or is it just a puffy heart? No, no, it's a locket. Okay. Let me get it open. Oh, it's got some verdigree inside. But it's a little locket. It looks like there's something on this side. I wonder if we can get it out. It, or is it just like a little paper? Nope, it just maybe used to have something in there. But there is a stamp or something on the back. Can you read it? I cannot, because there's a dent. <laughs> okay. Um, it says, hmm, O, C, I think it's an I, back and front. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but that's cool. We'll put it to the side. That's cool. Um, thank you. Okay, so next up we've got this. I'm going to figure out who, what the lot, and like the person I got the lot from, and I'll drop the link into um, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. So if you're interested in like, ooh, this person sent good stuff. Why not, right? Share the wealth. I can't buy it all. <laughs> So there's that, and I'm. are there marks on there? I think there's a little mark on there. I don't, I mean, it's almost like, I don't know. Um, what do we think this looks like? Hang on, come back. Uh, it almost looks like, okay, here's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like maybe the inside of an oyster shell, you know, where it would have these like kind of lumpy bumps. Bumps. But you know what I mean? It kind of reminds me of that. Like it's 
modeled at, or it's just a random uh, shape. So, and it is Mark 925 right on there. So that's cool. Yay! So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this I'm, I'm really super happy about this Margaret pin, which I did not see in the lot. I'm gonna go back and look. I think they sent it extra, which is so nice. <laughs> oh no, just Jenny just got the notification. Okay, so now for the big bulk of the rest of the stuff. The stuff. It looks like an amoeba. <laughs> there we go. There's a selling point, right? Um, for people who like to look in microscopes. You see a dragon, it's like an ink blot test. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting into this. Do we go for the big interesting box first? Yep. So here we've got this box. What do you think is inside? Maybe I should open it. No, okay, let's open it together. Ready? All right. The fun fact, they're all 30 day listing posted today well, on September 1st. Okay, here we go. What is it? Aha, we have some pearls. Now, what kind of pearls? This is dusty, but that's okay. All right, so here we've got this gorgeous necklace. Whether they're real or not is neither here nor there at this point, because it's beautiful. Let's see on the back of the clasp. So here's the clasp. Look at this like beautiful deco style clasp. It's missing some of the little seed pearls that are in there. And let's read it. it says, made in England. So I'm guessing, I mean, I'm guessing they're faux. Yeah. Yeah, they're faux, but they're really a nice pair, I think. So they're really pretty. They've got a nice sound to them. Ooh, do they fit me? Maybe. <laughs> Not that I wear pearls, but you know, if I ever needed some pearls. <laughs> They're very cool. Okay, um, oh, it looks like a mummy. Oh, you think it's a mummy inside the box. All right, so there's that. Those are really pretty, huh? Nice little box. Okay, close that up. I love the box, very cool. Okay, hello, hello. Thanks for coming, you guys. So we've got another cool box, like so. Ready? What do we think? I'm going with pearls. It's the same shape box. Ready? Ha-ha! We weren't wrong. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, musty. Kind of musty. That musty, dusty smell, okay? Okay, so these are guaranteed for 20 years. Lotus simulated pearls. Hmm, interesting. Lotus Deluxe. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, that's a tiny neck. But aren't they pretty? So it's a nice little tiny neck for pearls. And there's the clasp, which is missing a stone, but that's okay. It's a silver. Oh, so tiny, but pretty. Remember when we were measuring our necks that time? <laughs> uh. Must have been pearls from the Queen's Dungeon Collection. <laughs> this is really nice though. Okay, I haven't decided yet what is, you know, because we haven't seen everything, what I'm gonna put in the lot. But what I'll do is when I do the lot, I mean the giveaway rather, um, I'll, I'll show it all. I'll show it all, not all, not that kind of girl. The other box said Lotus also. Oh, did it, Cindy? Oh, thanks. Hey, Cindy. She saw you. Oh, it did. All right, cool. Maybe that's why the boxes are the same. I'm slow on the uptake today. I've been doing mommy stuff, okay? I don't know, Nene. <laughs> okay, next up, we have got a ring. It looks like silver. It's got a tiger's eye in there, I think. Yeah, but it has been cut. So it's been cut. I'm guessing if it was like what happened to my sister that time, she had to get her wedding ring cut off because she had a bee stinger on the hand. And then she didn't take her ring off immediately and her hand swelled up. And so she had to go down to the, the fire station and they cut it off. So but that's what they did. Um, this was on a buy it now. Yeah, I think. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't normally do auctions. I'm like, if I see it and I want it, I just buy it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because I get so I get so disappointed if I do auctions and then I don't win or I think I'm winning and then I wake up the next morning and somebody's like come in at the last second. <sighs> Such a baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jenny. So this one says Sterling Handmade NB. So pretty cool. Very minimalist. I mean, but it does have that, you know, it's cut in the back. So that's okay. That's okay. Okay, next up, we have this bracelet, which I think is cool. Ready for it? It's got a hinge, which I like. And it's got like this clasp. Let me show you the inside part. That's the inside. It's dirty. So that's cool. All right, so it like clips open. I think it's cool. Like that, and clips closed. That's a small wrist. And I have a small wrist. Look it. Ta-da! All right, it's dirty though. Oh, my fingers are gonna be so grody. Um, but I, what is that? Copper, brass, I can't tell. It's got a really cool, if you can see, once it gets cleaned up, it's got a really cool, almost like a snake sort of scooby pattern. Scoopy, scoopy pattern. Okay. Oh, you got a lighted loop. Nice. Uh, yeah, chunky. Yeah, totally. And I, I like that it's different. That's the thing. You know, because you don't see stuff like this all the time. Which is why I wanted to order from eBay UK or eBay France, right? So there. Cool. It's almost like a shackle, right? You're going, you're going to jail, man. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the web says the pearls were popular in the 60s. Oh, nice, nice. Thanks, Louise. Okay, so then next up we've got another locket. Oh, this is fun. Thanks, you guys. I needed this. <laughs> and inside we are empty. Empty. But that's cool. Okay, then we've got another ring, which I love. Okay, here we go. I'll show you. It's got some kind of stone in there, maybe maybe an agate type stone, but it looks like a silver setting. And then it's got, hang on, I'll try to hold it still for you. So then it's got these, that's the Tudor rose, right? That's what they call that, the Tudor rose. Let me know if I have any Brits or Anglo, uh, what are they called, Anglophiles in the house. Um, did you actually buy off e UK eBay site or you? No, I went to the eBay UK site. And there are some sellers who don't ship to the US. Let's just put it that way. You missed a sale, man. <laughs> so, yeah. But look, it looks like the band is totally different, uh, different metal than the, the front part. So that's cool. And then this it does have like, it is adjustable or it looks adjustable. Yeah, it's slightly adjustable. Anyway, cool, cool. It needs to be. Cl I mean, this may be one that I would consider cleaning up. I don't normally polish up silver, but I might do this one a little bit just to make the stone more. Because right now it's kind of like, eh. well, maybe, maybe in my opinion. But oh, okay. Was just looking at the Napier book and saw some hinged bracelets from the 1900s in 20s. Is it marked? Ooh. Let me go see. I don't see, no, I don't see any marks inside of this bracelet. Hang on, let me look. If you guys, I did a, I did a review of the Napier book. If y'all haven't seen it yet. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like eye candy all day. Wendy says, my, my son left for a volcano today. Like, he's going to a volcano? Yeah. Ah, okay. That makes more sense, Wendy. She said boot camp, not volcano. Yeah. <laughs> okay, another, we've got another locket. Dana says, I feel terrible when I find a, a family picture in the locket. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I would feel terrible. I did a, um, I posted rather, I don't, I don't, I know I didn't do a video. I went to the store Uncommon Objects and they had some little books with little teeny pictures, you know, I don't know if they're daguerreotypes or just like really old, old, old pictures. Um, and I don't know. I just think it's so cool. Because then, you know, if their family's gone or forgotten, 
somebody's going to enjoy them. So I don't know. All right, we've got a cool hairpin now. So that's the top of the pin. It's like a bobby pin like so. But my hair, y'all, my hair is so thin that will that would just fall right out of my hair. It's gorgeous. I wish I could wear that. How can I make that work? I would need like an eraser or something to poke on the other end to keep it from falling out. Because my hair is so thin. Um, <laughs> I'm still laughing at that. I'm not laughing that he left for boot camp, Wendy, but that the self autocorrect thing that corrected that's a volcano. Um, yeah. Okay, so next up, we have this little box that didn't show you, sorry. And inside, we've got some cufflinks. And I'm going to read backwards because it says rolled gold. And it looks like it says lick something. But I'm going to turn it around because I know that's not right. Oh, Lion Brand. That makes more sense. Lion Brand. Okay, that's a new one for me. Cute. Cute, cute. <laughs> Okay, and then, oh, we've got some more really cool stuff. This is, feels like cell, probably celluloid, but I'll look at it closer. Hang on. So we've got this carved pendant, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's celluloid, which is a plastic, but I'm going to look at it closer just in case. Just in case. So what I'm looking for are Schrager lines, which would indicate that it's ivory, or like, um, <laughs> hang on, I gotta go back to that. Um, or a little like, kinda, I don't know how to describe it with that bone, like almost like little, not pock marks, but meh, lines, but they're not parallel. I'm having a hard time telling. The light's not awesome. Here's my thing. Okay, this part, I can't see anything. But on the loop, I see some lines. That's where I'm... It feels plastic, though. Let's just go with it being celluloid. Because it, it feels... Mm -hmm, maybe. Okay, I'm going to have to look at it in better light later. But I'm trying to see if you can see. Uh, okay, I'll look at it more later. It feels plasticky, so let's go with that. Um, oh, have you got lots of? I love selling cufflinks, Wendy. That's how that was my gateway drug into jewelry, cufflinks, tie tacks, things like that. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. The hair. I don't know if you were here the other day when I mentioned about the hair. I went and got a haircut the other day. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. I was just like, okay, I want to trim because it had gotten down the hair. I was like, I just wanted like right around like this length. Um, and she went and like shaved up the back and was like, and I even said something as she was working on that. I was like, it feels awfully short back there. And she's like, you need this if this is what you, you know, if this is the haircut you want. So then I had to use the, the curly thing. Yeah. You won two bits for hair curly thing. You demonstrated if anyone's interested in the second one. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I had to do. Like I'm using my hair, my hair curler to make it look yeah, decent. Okay. <laughs> so not exactly, Jan. It's kind of like lines. I don't know. Okay, so next we've got this ring with a little painted piece with some filigree on the side. So this looks like it's silver as well, most likely. Okay. And then we have another, oh, this is pretty, like a filigree type brooch. There is a name for this, and I always forget it. It's not just regular filigree when they do it like this, where it's kind of like coiled around like so. There's another name for that. Somebody will remember. Okay, so there's this, and it's a brooch and a pendant. And it's got a C-clasp, so it might be a little bit older. So that's cool. It's pretty. Beautiful. Okay, next. Man, this one's a really good lot. Good job, Lot. Okay, we've got this little snowflake. Looks like a little snowflake with uh, some sort of insignia in the middle. Hi! The curly thing. Is the curly thing... Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm Y'all are side chat. Sorry. This says Persian silver, which I think is not sterling silver. 
because I thought it was pewter. When I first looked at it, it kind of looked pewter-ish. This is Persian silver, so I'll have to look that up. New, yes. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is another reason I like getting lots and things like that, because I, I find stuff that I would not know about otherwise. Sty striations, yeah, yeah, I think so, Jen, Gina. Okay, so here we've got a nice little abalone bracelet. And this one actually said it's made in Mexico. So maybe somebody took a vacation. <laughs> so over there says Mexico. Very cute though. Love it. It's got a nice line to it. Needs a little cleanup over here. Wait, are you missing? No, no, you're good. Little cleanup needed over there. Oh yeah, on that one it does. Um, Chantilly. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay, so then, what have we here? Oh, okay, I don't know. So here we've got a bracelet. Looks like so, bracelet. This part's like a plasticky, and then this part has got some silver, maybe some enamel looking. And what I'm curious about is these like, it's kind of pin hinged there. Same thing on the other side, you see? And it moves, how do you? I mean, is it just a bangle or is it supposed to open? Am I going to break it? I might break it. Don't break it. Okay, let's just leave it like that. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to open or not. So, I mean, it comes on. It goes right on. So that's cute. That's a different for sure. Cool. There we go. Cool. Okay, next. Ooh. This is a really good lot for 40 pounds, I just have to say. We have got this, what I believe is amber. It may be copal, I'll have to do a little testing on it, but that's fine. We've got this little, kind of like a honey, maybe, no, I think it's honey, kind of amber pendant, and it is marked 925. I did a video on how to test for amber, if you're not sure. My guess on this one is that it is, because what they'll do sometimes, on amber, you know, if they don't have a piece that's like this big that they're going to like polish, they'll like take little, they'll be making stuff out of, out of amber and then they'll have the little bits that they've shaved off and they'll like smoosh it all back together, you know, with the process that they do. And then when it does that, sometimes water and stuff or a little bits of moisture gets trapped in there and it makes those kind of burst shapes. So I think that's probably what it is going on there. Maybe, that's a guess. And there's a name for it but I can't remember it, of course. Uh, so there's that, cool. My mom likes amber a lot. That's her one of her go-tos. Amber, lapis, those are her main two. The snowflake looks, yeah, it almost does look like a Celtic knot, yeah. Hello, everybody. Okay, so next, this, ooh, this is such a cool ring. Ooh, okay, you, I don't know if you can see it through this way, but when I'm holding it up this way, I can see through the light that it's almost like a translucent blue gray, which makes me wonder if it's like Labradorite. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I'm getting my phone because I bet this is Labradorite. It's kind of dark and hard to see right here, but okay, so we've got, can you guys see? You can kind of see it there, but it's more blue the way I'm seeing it. Okay. Oh yes, don't, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thanks, junk girl. Ah. Okay, lights. Lights, 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 get out. Okay, there we go, you can kind of see it. You're seeing my nail through the backside. Uh, so it's, what do you think? I mean, it's kind of like a gray blue color. Do you think it might be Labradorite? It's a possibility. Could be something else. I don't know all the stones in the world, but it's got that kind of like banding in it. You see that kind of like blacky stripes? That's kind of neat. Okay. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> Come on. Um, my, it, yeah, it's not necessarily always Kimberly, but, but a lot of times, yes. That's like a, and same thing with Copal too, so it's kind of hard to tell, you know. But that's, a, let's, that's one of the things that they do. That was when I was researching all that. Okay, so there's that. Very cool ring. I like it. It's kind of gray-green, yeah. A little bit of a bluish. When I'm looking at it this way, I need, see, I need a lighted loop, yeah. When I'm looking at it, 
through this side, it looks kind of like a blue gray. We'll have to do some digging and see what it is. Moonstone, maybe. And you know what I did not realize, Michelle, is that um, moonstone comes in so many different colors. Because my husband got me some moonstone earrings and a ring, and they're like this salmon color. And, I, and he was like, they're moonstone. I was like, whatever. Moonstone is like this like milky white color. No. Yeah. They, it comes in different colors, and I totally didn't know. So I was like looking it up like, oh. Okay, it's a moonstone. So, but yeah, that'd be cool if it was a moonstone even. Yes. See, we're always learning. That's the good thing. Okay, and then we've got, look at this cute little barrette. I think it might be silver too. Maybe. It's tarnished or else it's just dirty from hairspray. I don't know. Maybe it's silver. I'll look through it again and see. But it's a cute little clip. Maybe I would wear that. See, I would wear that. Oh my gosh, look how cute, right? You could see that. I'm gonna clean it up. That one's for me, for the sparkles in my hair. It has the same, oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Doo -doo. Okay, I'm gonna clean that up. That's a keeper for me. Wow, we're doing great. I still have lots here. Okay, this is fun. Gosh, I've missed you guys. Um. So here we go, we've got this bracelet, and this one has got this style, if you're looking down here, this style of really, like, to make it bigger to get it on. It's still awfully small, so it might be a child's bracelet. I'm looking for a mark real fast. There is a mark, aha. Uh, right in this area, let me see with my loop, what it says. Where did you go? Upside down. It says sterling silver. So cool. Hang on. I keep thinking I see something else, but no, it just says sterling silver. So sterling silver on that one, which I think is probably, I mean, because I have small wrists. That's a pretty small bracelet. <laughs> Thank you, Francis. Okay, keep it on, keep it on. Oh. Okay, it's damaged, but it's gorgeous, okay? So, no, here, I'll show you the damage first. So this is like a wing, and it's kind of, you can see the copper underneath it's damaged, but look at how beautiful it's like, what would you say, Art Nouveau? With her and her hair? She's like a flying fairy, dragonfly fairy. Isn't that beautiful, though? Oh, so cool. All right, there is the clasp on that. But she's so awesome. I don't even care that she's damaged. Because just look at how awesome she is. I'm going to let just let you absorb that. I mean, to me, that's like an artist. The work that went into that. I don't know. I don't know. So cool. So cool. Okay. She is, right? Okay, next... Hang on, let me pull some of this out. You know what? Let me do the boxes. There's another box. All right, here we go. I think this is the, the this. All right, here we go. I'm always nervous about things coming out of boxes. Oh, it's more pearls. <laughs> I did mess the hair up over there. Okay, let me see if I can open this. There we go. It is upside down, but there were pearls. It's broken. Oh, stinky too. Musty, musty. All right, so there we go. It is very musty, this one. The other pearl boxes were too. Woo! So musty. Okay, let's do the other box while we're at it. Let's just dive into this little clam box. What do we got? What is it? It says genuine jade on it. But I do you think that's genuine jade? What do you think? Or is it genuine jade brand? Or chips. Hang on. I'm getting all the bits. Okay, so it's a set. It's a cufflink set. Cufflink, tie tack, tie bar. And it says, I mean, maybe it's just like little chips of, of jade. I don't know. Like the leftover bits? Maybe. Possibly. All right, we'll find out. I'll do a little digging on that. That's cool, though. 
even if it's faux, it's so cool, I think. All right. Oh, there's lots more, you guys. We're doing so well. Okay, next, we've got this sort of, I think it's like a cat's eye type of, oh, maybe not, maybe. Bracelet here. Oh, I'm gonna have to really go through this and figure out what's going into the giveaway, which I think is, pro yeah, probably silver. So there's that bracelet, cool. Isn't that cool? Then, hang on, that's a cufflink. I'm waiting to see if we have the mate for it. Oh, Tangles. We were doing so well. Why? Why? Okay, come on. All right, we've got another one of these pins. Cool. We have, oh, come on now, don't even. I'm not going to be pleased with you if you keep this up. All right, we've got this, which is like that hook from a place that has the hook. Like that. I can't remember what it's called, though. There's a name for this. So there's this necklace. We have another really pretty kind of glass. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay. So it's not just a drop. But there's like a little extra chain there to make it extra fancy. Look how pretty. How's that going to look on me, I wonder? Urgh. Very vintagey looking. Let's see. Oh, can't she do it? I don't know if I can hook things on. I'm not so good with hooks, okay? I'm just not. Let's just put it that way. But look how pretty. That would look really, say, chic, right? Tray elegant. Elegant. I, I can't zoom it out. I don't know. So there. Ha ha. <laughs> Very pretty. Okay, love it. All right, that goes over there. Then. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, coming back. Over here, oh, tangles. So we've got some more like faux pearls. They look like they're peeling. Yeah, they're peeling. Over here. Isn't it, oh, hey, Heather. How's it going? How you doing? Okay, ah. Then we have, oh, I think this is a bracelet. Maybe, or, okay, y'all tell me. This got this thing. That's got a hook on it. That's a hook, right, okay. But then it's got this thing. Oh. Hmm. Well, no. Because I thought first maybe like that. No, it doesn't go in there. It's an anklet for a large man. <laughs> I don't know. Mystery. Wait, wait. What? No. 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 I don't know. <laughs> just random chain. We'll just call it a chain. Oh, you're tiring down finally. <laughs> okay, then we've got, oh, it's tangled again. Is it for a pocket watch? Oh, come back, you. Is it? Awesome. Oh, 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 oh. maybe. Hang on, because this thing could come off like that. Ha ha! Huh? So that part, and then this goes through the little buttonhole, and that goes to the watch part, and then it goes in the pocket. Ha ha! Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom Crack Maker. Ah, yes. I needed that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so this one is broken, but it's a cute little silver heart um, bracelet. It is broken right here. All right. Then, hang on, let me get these untangled a little bit. Tangles. All right, this is really cute. Oh, I've signed out. It's got these little, almost like coral type of beads. And maple leaves? Like so. Nice little brace, or necklace rather. That's cute. I like the chain. See the chain? It's cute. There, like that. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, then, oh, this is kind of gross, dirty looking, but, uh, oh, I think this might be bone, maybe, I don't know. So we've got these carved, what I, I'm thinking these are bone flowers, and then these beads are not bone, I don't think, up here. Like the top part, I do not think is bone, but this part I do think is bone. Okay, cool. 
Okay. <laughs> then, y'all, if you see me fading, I'm like, oh, keep it up, Margaret. You can do this. I'm fading, right? It's been a long day. But I wanted to come see you guys. Okay. Tangles. Hi, Maggie. How are you? <laughs> ah. Okay, here we go. Now, we've got another locket, like so. And anybody inside? Knock, knock. Okay, don't be goofy. Okay, be goofy. All right, so there we go, a little locket. My fingers feel gross now, okay? Look. Oh my gosh. No, that's a joke. I wasn't really. <laughs> All right, then we've got this. It's twisted, but it's this bracelet or maybe anklet, maybe. I think it's an anklet, yeah. Like a belly dancer style anklet. I think so. And I don't want to be tired. I don't want to go to bed. Look at the clasp on this, y'all. Beautiful. It's a teeny tiny little pearl necklace. And what does that say? I can't read it backwards. Wait, wait, where did it go? Ah, Silver Lotus. So that's like that Lotus brand again. There you go. So those are those simulated pearls. Ah, um, go to eBay France. That's what I, on oh, my eBay France one. I went to eBay France. And then I, look, I searched for people that would ship to the US. This is really unusual, okay. All right, so here we've got this necklace. Let me get my hand behind it so you can see it better. So it looks like this. It's missing some pieces, but it's really cool looking. I mean, it's missing some of the little dangles down here, but I think it's really interesting. Let me turn it around and see the back. Even the back part's cool. Cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> Okay, then we've got some more cufflinks. These are like little button button cufflinks, like so. Hang on, I gotta get a drink of water. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we have, oh, this is cute. It's a little like book clip, bookmark. And I think it's a, I was gonna say bear, but then it has a tail. Is it a cow? A piglet? Maybe it's a piglet. 925. And I think it's a pig. I think it's a pig. Cute. So a little silver pig bookmark. Do I ever watch Heather the Reseller? She does lots of jewelry. I I watch her some when I can. She's here somewhere. There she is. Hey. Yeah, I watch her some. I got to meet her in person. Don't be jealous, but I did. You think it's a calf? Maybe it is a calf. Yeah, a calf, okay. It's furrier than a pig, but pigs are furrier than you might think. I'm just saying. Okay, <laughs> all right, so here we've got another little brooch. It's missing some of the faux pearls on it, but it's super cute, shiny cute. And oh, this is just dirty. It's just dirty. Ugh. And then, oh, bonus hair. There it is. Gotta have the bonus hair. This is like a, yeah. Okay, let's put that over there. That just goes over there. Okay, that was a tumbled rock. So we've got a little tumbled rock that someone has put on a pendant. And we've got, an, oh, this is pretty. A nice little abalone pendant. That's pretty. This was a really good lot for 40 bucks. Got some more rings coming, ooh, okay. So we've got this carved kind of cameo. Oh, and we just talked about cameos not that long ago, but I can't remember what this is called. It says RS 800, so that's like 800 purity silver. That's really pretty though. I like it. <clears throat> okay, that goes over there. And then we've got another ring similar to the other one with the little painted flowers. Like that. <laughs> Bald squirrel. 
Okay, and oh, there's a lot of silver in here. This is really nice. A little charm, very scrolly, open work. Not, not a bell, but really cute. That would be cute on a charm bracelet. Okay, hang on, I'm pulling out little bits. Oh, look, we have another chain like that, but guess what? It's a fob, but it's not a watch fob. Are you ready? Look what it is. It's a insure against tailstorm damage presented by the county livestock, the farmers fire and accident insurance offices of New York, John Heatherton, managing director. So it's a little box that you would put matches, matches in? Is that for striking the matches right there? Right? The silver, that silver orb is Silpata. Oh, okay, I should look for the mark on it, huh? I'm looking for the, I'll, I'll set it aside and look for the mark. Ah, okay. So yeah, that's uh, advertising. That's cool. Hailstorm <laughs> damage. Ve Wait, Vesta, Vespers. Okay, I don't know what you mean by that. Hmm, you'll have to tell me what you mean. Let me read the back. Hang on while you're telling me. Um, oh, it's really rubbed off. What? All right, let's see if I can read this to you. It says, Stallions in full mares, foals, bulls, cows, sheep, pigs, and valuable dogs insured. So this they will also insure your stock. Right? <laughs> Stallions in foal, in foal, mares, foals, bulls, cows, sheep, pigs, and valuable dogs insured. You think it's for matches? This is very interesting. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like this. I like it. Okay. It's a new, oh gosh, oh my gosh. No. My mama always told me to look before you leap. And I didn't know my son. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Are we ready? I'm, a, I'm just going to say one, I'm not like into feathers. And two, I reached in and then. I grabbed that and that was a surprise. So it's like a claw thing like that. I mean, it looks well made. We'll give it that much. Um, and it's got some, oh, there's a heather and thistle on the bottom. All right, Scotsman, I blame you for whatever this is. Okay, somebody, <laughs> whatever it is, it looks like, I mean, just look at the base of it. It looks like it was well-made. I would love to show you more, but I would have to hold it. It's a kilt pin. Okay, funky Scotsman. <laughs> With your funky bird claws. I, it's a bird foot, I think. Is that feathers or fur? It has to be feathers. Look at the claw. I mean, it's like a bird, right? Is it a bird? But it's like a furry bird. <sighs> yeah, it looks it looks like it's silver. It's really, like I said, it looks well made. Like the silver parts and all of the bits that got it put together. Do I want to go in and look for a mark? I don't know. Uh, it's like furry, feathery. Don't tell me that's from a rat. Come on now. 
Why would you do that to me, Judy? A grouse foot. Oh, gosh. That's not cool, man. Not cool. Grouse claw foot bur brooch killed. Okay, yeah. So it's got the heather and thistle in there. Okay, cool. That's going to go over there. That was a surprise that I was not anticipating reaching into. Grab. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, when you reach in and you grab something furry, we're just like, no, no, no. Speaking of furry things, we've got another. That looks like a possum. It's another um, bookmark cliff. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it looks like a possum. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. It's from a bird. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we've got this nice little collar pin here. And the clasp is very nice. Vintage clasp on it. Very cool. Oh, don't. Oh, gosh. Don't tell me that was from a rat. Gross. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. No. Okay, I'm going to look now before I dig in. All right, we've got what I think is like a button cover. I think it's a button. Like so. Very ah, ah. Okay. Look, I'm jumpy now. I, my loop is on the floor. <laughs> it's like <laughs> someone just grossed out the American talent. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> That's about right. Now I got to put it back in the bag. Thanks a lot, England. <laughs> what is a grouse? What is a grouse? <laughs> I don't even know what a grouse is. Do we have them here? I've heard of them. It's a bird? It's a bird, right? You eat them? What do you do with them? Do you hunt them? You eat them? A game bird. Okay, you eat them. Or you shoot them. Maybe he's a... Maybe it was like a prize grouse. Or his grouse, his pet grouse died and he kept it forever. I don't know. It's a bird, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we've got this Coronation Luck 1937. That's cool. It looks like it was on something, but now it's not. And we've got some. Glass Millie Fiori, I think is what that's called. Good luck kilt pin like a lucky rabbit. Oh my gosh, no. No. There's a number of these little rings. Hang on, let me show you. So these little rings, like so. Mini horse. Oh my gosh, don't. <laughs> um yeah. There's a Monopoly shoe. Monopoly shoe, and last but almost not least, but not least, we've got a button, this button, and we've got a whistle. We have a whistle. And I would blow this whistle. Oh, wait, this whistle, does it open? There's something else going on with this thing. Ooh, it does open. It's a secret. What's in it? Do I want to open it? Not after the grouse foot. I'm opening it though, just for you. What's it gonna be? What is the deal with this thing? Why does this whistle come apart for no reason? Anybody? Um, can you hide things in there? Is it for secret messages? Okay, somebody must know what's the deal with this whistle coming apart. I don't know. Yes, still yucky. What? Okay, somebody, maybe. Okay, this part screws back in. Anybody know what's up with this whistle? This part screws in. Yes, yes. This part slides over and snaps into place. Why? That I don't know. Let's see. Get the flob out. Ew. Really? Well, that's a fancy whistle then. Most whistles don't let you clean them out. You're just like stuck with them. Oh, that's a, that, yeah, I think you're right about it being a dog whistle. 
because I can hear that like, <laughs> I know it's a whistle. <laughs> okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't want to put my mouth on it. <laughs> it must be a dog whistle because I hear very little. Maybe you can tune it by turning the screw. Let's tune this bad boy. I heard something. <laughs> Maybe it's a bosun's whistle. Right? Oh, maybe it's a slide whistle. <laughs> there we go. It's a slide whistle. I've solved the mystery. Snake charmer. <laughs> it is a fancy slide whistle, and I'm sticking with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. Okay, I like the whistle. I may clean it and take it to torment my children with. <laughs> Okay, so this was really fun. I have really gross, dirty fingers now. If you blow the whistle, the foot might start moving. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go through this stuff, and then when I, I'm going to gather the for eBay France stuff that I'm doing the giveaway with, and I'll pull out some of this stuff to put in, and we'll do a giveaway, and we'll get this party started again. Um you're not getting these snakes up for the... Oh, Dan, I can't believe I started reading that out loud. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. Um, nothing. Might work on the cats. Yeah, they were getting kind of iffy over there. They were like, what are you doing? Um, okay. Uh, we'll just call that now. Uh, thanks for coming to hang out, everybody. We see. I see 67 friends are here. 33 thumbs up and one thumbs down. Because they didn't like the way I blow a whistle. But that's okay. I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, okay. Um, you guys, thanks again for coming. This was so much fun. And I will. things will be getting back to on track. We, I was just talking to the guys about Merch Talk, those of you who merch, um, about trying to get Merch Talk coming back on again. It was over on Chris's channel today. So, yeah, we'll do that. All right. Thanks, everybody. And I hope you have a really great evening. Bye, you guys. <laughs>